On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway. Now, where am I taking you back to today? Well, I'm taking you back to the reign of Queen Elizabeth I. For On This Day in Tudor History, the 19th of June, 1573, Jesuit priest and former rector of a Lincolnshire parish, Thomas Woodhouse, was hanged, drawn and quartered at Tyburn. Thomas Woodhouse was the first priest to be executed in Elizabeth I's reign and he was beatified in December 1886 by Pope Leo XIII. Woodhouse had first been arrested on the 14th of May 1561 and taken to the Fleet Prison. While he was in prison, he was received into the Society of Jesus, the Roman Catholic order of religious men founded by St Ignatius of Loyola and known as the Jesuits. On the 19th of November 1572, his 12th year of imprisonment, Woodhouse wrote a letter to Elizabeth I's chief advisor, William Cecil, Lord Burley. This letter is said to have led to his martyrdom. Why? Well, in the letter, he denied Queen Elizabeth I's status as supreme head of the church, saying that Jesus had given supreme authority to Saint Peter and in him to his successors, the bishops of Rome. He advised Burley to humbly and unfeignedly, even from the very bottom of your heart, acknowledge and confess your great iniquity and offence against Almighty God especially in disobeying that supreme authority and power of the sea apostolic, so ordained and established by the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ. And in that letter, he called Elizabeth Lady Elizabeth rather than Queen and told Burley to persuade her to submit herself to the Pope and said that if Burley did not follow his advice, then it would lead to the great desolation and ruin of our beloved country and people and to the utter subversion and perishing of you and yours forever in hell. Where is the gnawing worm? Where is the unquenchable fire? Where is weeping and gnashing of teeth? On receipt of this letter, Burley called Woodhouse for an interview. Woodhouse again refused to acknowledge Elizabeth as Queen and kept referring to Burley as Mr. Sissel. When Burley asked him why he did not call him Lord Burley or use his title of treasurer, Woodhouse explained that it was because Elizabeth gave you those names and titles and that she had no authority to do so. Burley called him a traitor. In April 1573, Woodhouse was tried for high treason at London's Guildhall, found guilty and condemned to death. In the 1914 book, Lives of the English Martyrs, Father John H. Pollen gives the following account of Woodhouse's execution. He was drawn in the usual way to the place of execution. Hearing him pray in Latin, some of the crowd wanted him to pray in English so that all might join with him. He answered that with the Catholics he would willingly, but as for the others, he would neither pray with them nor have them pray with him or for him, though he would willingly pray for them. The sheriff was impatient at what he called his obstinacy and cried out, away with him executioner, strip him of his garments, put the rope about his neck and do it quickly. Then he called to the martyr to ask pardon of God, the Queen and the country. But Blessed Thomas answered, Nay, I on the part of God demand of you and of the Queen that ye ask pardon of God and of Holy Mother Church, because contrary to the truth, ye have resisted Christ the Lord and the Pope, his vicar upon earth. These bold words drew shouts from the ever fickle crowd of hang him, hang him, this man is worse than story. He was cut down alive so that he went between two from the gallows to the fire, near which he was spoiled and came perfectly to himself before the hangman began to bowel him, inasmuch as some have said he spoke when the hangman had his hand in his body, seeking for his heart to pull it out. And that was the end of Blessed Thomas Woodhouse. An awful end. Also on this day in Tudor history, the 19th of June 1535, in the reign of King Henry VIII, Sebastian Newdigate, William Exmew and Humphrey Middlemore 
monks of the Carthusian Order of London Charter House were hanged, drawn and quartered at Tyburn. Yes, more martyrs. And you can find out more about them in last year's video and you'll find a link to that in the description for this video. Now you can subscribe to this channel by clicking that button just there. You can hit the bell to be notified as these videos go live and you can leave a comment and give me a like. I'll be back tomorrow and I hope to see you then. Bye bye.